Hi, welcome to www.project.com. The paper you have requested is data mining with big data. The big data is used to store the huge amount of data stored and retrieve information from the cloud computing environment. We provide a new means to sense public interest and generate feedback in real time and are mostly appealing compared to generic media such as radio or TV broadcasting. For example, public picture sharing site which receives 1 million 8 photos per day on average, assuming the size of each photo is 2 MB. This requires 3.6 terabits of storage every single day. Indian and old states saying a picture is worth a thousand words. The billions of pictures on Flickr are treasure of tank for us to explore the human society and social events and public affairs, disaster and so on. Only if we have the power to harness an enormous amount of data, we can able to store the data in each and every cloud environment. So for this process only we have introduced the big data concepts in cloud computing environment. Now let's have a look on, uh, on our abstract. Big data contains large volume and complex growing data sets with multiple autonomous sources. With the vast development of networking, data storage and data collection capacity, Big data are now rapidly expanding in all science and engineering domains including physical and biological biomedical sciences. This paper presents a high theorem that characterizes the features of big data revolution and poses a big data processing model from the data mining perspective. The data driven model involves demand driven aggregation of information sources, mining analysis, user interest modeling and security and privacy consider consideration. We also analyze the challenging issues in the data driven model also in the big data revolutions. Now let's have a look on our abstract. Now let's have a look on our data flow diagram. Start the process, input the big data set and cluster the data set using k means. Then we need to find out heterogeneity classification and homogeneity classification. Then we need to calculate fitness and extract big data memory evolution. Then stop the process. Let's see the demo of our project. Before running our project, we need to perform some installation. First, you need to install J JDK 1.6 version in uh, D drive or E drive. Already you have installed any version in C drive. Please don't use that version. Use this version in and install it in any D drive or E drive. Then install Sigwin. Okay, for installing Sigwin, you need net connection. For installing Sigwin, there are some procedures for that. You need to set up uh, SS, open SSH and uh, open SSL and all. For uh, installing Sigwin, please refer our website elishamtechnologies.com. In that, we have a video file for installing Sigwins. Then we need to uh, set environmental variables. For setting environmental variables, go to my computer properties. There, go to advanced system settings. Here in environmental variables, first you need to set the JDK home path. You have installed our uh, your Java version in any E drive or E drive, right? Then you need to set that home path. Then go to system variables. There click path and click edit here you need to first these are the basic variables defined in the paths then after uh, after this you need to specify your JDK home then specify C sigwin bin and C sigwin user as bin Okay, it will uh, link the Sigwin to Java. Click OK. So after setting environmental variable, uh, download and install VMware Workstation and Hadoop Appliances 18. Then you need to configure Hadoop. For that also refer our website lcmtechnologies.com. Then download Eclipse Europa and copy and paste the plugin from Hadoop to Eclipse. For example, in uh, Hadoop Appliances, uh, you have libraries. Okay, copy uh, just a minute. In contribution, Eclipse plugin, just copy this plugin and paste it in Eclipse Europa plugins. Here, you need to paste the plugins. Then.
copy this Hadoop folder and paste it in Java where you have installed in your local drive. After installing all those things, you need to start Hadoop. Open your Hadoop version in VMware. Login with Hadoop. Give username as Hadoop underscore hyphen user then password as Hadoop. You have one virtual machine for that Hadoop. After uh, login with Hadoop, go to Eclipse and here click map reduce. Then you need to create one VMware. For in, uh, creating VMware you need to uh, check our website lsmtechnologies.com. So after run load.java, go to run as, click run on Hadoop. Select VM server and click finish. Select the data set first and click load data. The data is stored in Hadoop location. Here, go to DFS location, select VM server, expand the folder 1, go to user. In that Hadoop user, you will have that data set. The data set will be uploaded in Hadoop. Then click next. Give cluster size and click view data. Now click apply came in cluster. Cluster distance has been calculated. Click view results. The results are displayed over here. Then we need to go for query processing. Select any input. Either it is standard input or range. Select range between 19 and 36. Select region and gender. Click search results and click view. It will show the cluster results in each and every input which we have given. That's all the process is over. Thanks for watching clickmyproject.com